Hi, this is Richard Patrick from Filter, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I am so excited to be sitting here with Filter today. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Before the interview started rolling, the camera started rolling, we were kind of talking about our lovely Canadian weather. I feel like you're adapting all right. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles. Like, and I literally moved there because of the weather. <laughs> like, I was like, I grew up in Cleveland, which is not unlike Canadian weather. And I, you know, I'm one of these people that like, you know, during my drinking days, it was great to have like dark clouds all the time. But like, now that I don't drink and stuff like that, I really just like sunlight. You know, the sun comes in my room at seven in the morning and I'm just like, you know, I'm cool with it, which is kind of wild. Well, you've just released your new record, Crazy Eyes. Congratulations. That's right. Crazy Eyes. Crazy Eyes. What did you do to celebrate the record's release? We went down to Sam Ash Music Store, and we hung out with a bunch of fans that uh, wanted to get the record early, and they all showed up, and we had a blast. So that's what we did. And I think I think my, my kids watched me sign about 10,000 copies of the record, which was... Well, it wasn't 10,000, but it, was, it felt like <laughs> 10,000. Yeah, it was a lot. I love the eye that you have featured on the album artwork. Yeah. Can you just kind of walk me through the real significance behind the title Crazy Eyes for you? And sadly, you know, it's a lot of these gunmen that we have running around uh, the world and especially America with this, uh, you know, this crazy eyed look in their faces and uh, with Adam Lanza and the Aurora. A theater shooter and all, just all these nuts that get these guns and they just think everything's going to change when they blow you know 28 people away and it's just it's a sad kind of reflection on on um our our world and you know our band has always been about that we've always wanted to talk about the weird thing under the rock you know the the weird creepy crawlies under the rock as opposed to you know what a beautiful rocket is and how great it looks and you know i mean there's plenty of people that talk about love and romance and you know and the and the party and i i i think they do a great job i don't want to get in the way of beyonce and or no actually beyonce talks about issues but like you know some of these some of these being yeah I, justin bieber's a great singer i have no problem with him but, you know, he likes to party, you know, and he should. He's 21. He's a big, huge millionaire. He drives an electric car. He's doing his part, you know. But uh, there's so many of us that just really want to just... I want to understand what insanity is and try and make that music um, for people that don't understand crazy and don't understand... You know, we're good people. I, don't, I would never hurt you guys. We would we would never think about hurting anybody. But what does that 1%, what does the brain of Adam Lanza think about? Or Dylan Roof, you know, Dylan Roof. What does his brain think about when he's doing these horrendous atrocities? And that's, you know, it's just my, it's just my brain. That's just the way I think creatively. I want to, I want to look at everything and analyze it, you know. The song Surprise was, was a tribute to my wife being kind of like a single mom when, when I go on tour and how, it, how hard. And it's probably one of my most favorite lyrics was, it's a dangerous world, but you live life right. And so I can write about the happiness and I can write about beauty and everything, but I really enjoy kind of, you know, all the way back to R. Bud Dwyer, you know. R. Bud Dwyer is um, the guy that held the press conference and shot himself in the head that was hey man nice shot that was the inspiration behind that inspiration is kind of a bad word but um you know i want to know what's up i want it's like skinny puppy one of the greatest canadian bands ever skinny puppy they do not they're not holding back in any way shape yeah. or form and it's so bizarre it's so avant-garde that uh, their messages are usually kind of really subversive but um I, uh, you know, you can, you, if you look, it's, it's, it's right there in front of you, you know. Well, I kind of get that bizarre feeling from a song like Mother E. It's probably my favorite song on right. the album. Yeah. It's, I don't know if, if it's about this, but I kind of get it, this vibe. Like it's somebody who can't stop themselves from hurting someone or stop themselves from kind of the urge of 
well, hurt he's, and killing? Is that the case? He's got his reasons. Okay. And his reasons are sound. He's a he's of sound mind to him, you know. Lovely purple bus. <laughs> oh look, orgies here. It's a man. Shapow! We made it. New location. Orgy's bus came and made way too much noise, and now we are standing in front of this door. The lovely opera house. This historic door of the opera house here in Toronto, Canada. Speaking of Toronto, you are now taking Crazy Eyes across North America. Here in Toronto tonight, yeah. how have the shows been treating you? They're awesome. I'm having a blast. I, I totally painted myself into a corner because I sing really high on the new record and I kind of thought I would have no problem with it but uh, you know the best thing about listen the best thing about being a live performer is that if if something goes bad how do you deal with that and it's usually I found that all of my favorite bands I've seen them make huge mistakes and they just start over and they laugh and that's so charming you have to embrace them yeah it's so charming to see that that um, I, uh, I, I, I feel like that's what the audience deserves from us. I am, you know, I'm, uh, I, I, I try to put as much emotion as I possibly can into every performance. And I think that that's, I think that's why, you know, I, you know, I enjoy it so much, you know, and I hope that everybody else enjoys it too. I saw that a fan actually got your face tattooed on their arm yeah. recently. How do you react when you see stuff like that? Such commitment from people. Honestly, I was like, that's that's like the highest compliment you could get. Someone's taking a permanent, you know, uh, <laughs> thing right on his arm. And he's a really good kid, and I gave him pics, and he came to a VIP and showed me, and I was like astounded, you know. But listen, you know, um, the fans are what keep – you know this whole thing going and if it wasn't for the fans you know I would be just not making music this way I would be doing it some other way and um, I owe everything my whole livelihood to the fans and people like him so I mean I'm eternally grateful and I saw that you're also work <laughs> thank you I saw that you're also working on you let a one slip <laughs> She I was love, nice. I love this on the she was like, fuck it, stuff. I'm going to walk right through. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to swear. It's all good. <laughs> so I saw you're also working on a movie score as of right now. And a lot of this new record kind of reminds me of that. I feel like it could definitely yeah. suit. So how's that coming along? The movie is True Crimes and it stars Jim Carrey, Canadian's own Jim Carrey. And I couldn't be more honored to have this opportunity. And um, I uh, am taking it really seriously. I'm a huge fan of music. And... Every opportunity. Listen, when you're seven years old and you take a guitar and you park it up next to your amplifier and make a bunch of crazy noises and stuff like that, that leads to like, you know, like, wow, I wonder what that would sound like underneath, you know, this scene in a movie like that. That was running through my head. And now here I am, you know, years later working on this really amazing music, essentially doing the same thing, making yeah. strange sounds with my guitar and, uh, you know, it's a unique soundtrack and so, or, or score, uh, it's a unique composition and I'm having a lot of fun. And um, so music is just always there. It's just so massively important to me and uh, I'm just forever grateful. That's amazing. Yeah. Let's wrap everything up today. Is there anything you want to say to all of your fans, all the Filter fans out there who are going to be All viewing? I want to say is you guys have been the most amazing fans that anyone could ever ask for and i appreciate it and as long as you guys keep hanging out and coming to the shows and doing whatever you want to do with our music i am always here for you i just want to say thank you so much for your time today we really do appreciate thank it thank you it's my pleasure look at this young beauty thank you she's doing good canada <laughs> thank you, you should very be proud much. And remember to everybody viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogyad.com for exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. That's right.